What is up beautiful people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and if you are new here, I am Nick, and on this channel I ride motorcycles, I work on motorcycles, and I travel all around the country bringing you guys on all my adventures. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, bang that subscribe button, we're getting super close to the thousand sub mark, and I will be doing a giveaway. Also, head down to that description box, there's links to our social media as well as our company store if you have dogs, horses, any of that. We sell all kinds of products for that. So. Go ahead, follow me on social media, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into today's video. So if you watched the last video, I talked about how the fork seal on uh, my Harley Davidson Sportster here, turd bomb, sorry, I totally had a brain fart for a second, <laughs> how the fork seal on my Sportster is leaking and I need to do it, and while doing that, I'm going to do some riser bushings. So with all that said, let me show you just from sitting on the lift for the last week just left a nice little puddle right there I don't know if that shows up on the camera but it's running down the back side of the fork and uh, we're gonna get that fixed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw you guys on the time lapse and I'm gonna get this fairing off and get everything stripped down and then I will bring you guys back in for when we start to uh, actually replace these seals but I want to also preface by saying I am not a motorcycle mechanic. I spent 14 years as an automotive mechanic. So this is not a how-to. Get yourself a book. It's what I have right here. Books, some tools, and a little bit of just know-how. And uh, you can get, get this knocked out. It's not going to be that hard. So let's go ahead, hop into the time lapse, and I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so because I'm the worst YouTuber in the world, I did the left side and I accidentally left the camera on time lapse. So, I may roll that in, I may not, so we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to go in and get this side right here done. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, I've already went ahead and pre-loosened these, but uh, we're just going to loosen that, slide that fork out. And let's bring it over here. I don't have a workbench here because I haven't built it yet. I haven't got around to it. So we're using this little table with a pig mat. In fact, let me grab another pig mat just in case. So there is a six mil Allen in the bottom of this that I've already broken free. So you need a long six mil and I broke it free on the bike. But basically what I did was uh, put it in and I just smack it with a hammer to make sure it's good and seat it so you don't round that out that is not a place you want to round it out but uh, I'm gonna stick this under here 
and go ahead and drain this. While it's down there trying to do its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I kind of lean it away from my face. I've already broke it free on the bike. One hand over top, this is under spring pressure. Spring pressure. Spring pressure. It is under spring pressure. Her to dur. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother editing that out. So there we go. Now that it can flow, it's draining a lot quicker. And I can already tell you the fluid that is coming out of this side looks far better than what came out of the other side. Get the spring out, set that to the side. I'm going to work this back and forth a few times so it can get anything that's left in there out. Alrighty, set that up there. We have that second pigment down there, so as it drips, it's not dripping on the floor. So let me show you the difference here. The left side that I accidentally did off camera, if you look at this, you see how gray that is? That's all metal. This side has some metal, but it's more of a purple color. So you can definitely see the difference. Let's see, how much did we get out of this one? About nine ounces, so I got about the same amount of fluid out of both of them. Oh, there was a little more. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the piston out. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold the slider. Oh, sorry. I'm skipping a step. We're gonna take a pocket screwdriver and we're gonna pop this dust seal off. Being careful not to uh, accidentally uh, gouge anything. Just kinda carefully work your way around it. that. Now we're going to take that screwdriver and we're going to pop the spring clip out just like that. Okay, now we're going to hold the slider. And as it does this, it'll pull up that seal. There we go. And that is a part. out there slide the old seal off then there's a bushing and a washer we're going to reuse that bushing and washer all right now what we're going to do is let me move this down a bit take some brake parts cleaner and just clean this thing out Shop towel. Alrighty. And we will set this to the side. Alright, so now I'm just going to take all the pieces and I'm going to clean them up with brake clean, but I'm actually going to take them outside to clean them up, so I will be right back with you guys. Alright, so now we're 
ready to reassemble our fork. First thing we're gonna do is take our tube here. We're gonna slide that bushing on like that. And then our steel washer. And then our seal. Seals lubricate it with a little bit of uh, oil. We're going to slide our piston and spring on. Make sure you replace the split seal on the piston. Go ahead. Slide that in. Use a spring to push the piston all the way to the end. piston through the end, put that on, slide that into the slider. Now we're going to replace that Allen bolt in the bottom. The kit comes with new ones and a new copper washer. Take some Loctite. And that Allen, that 6 mil Allen. Go ahead and Now, take that. I'm actually going to use this pig mat on the floor and use the floor as my brace because this table has a lot of give to it. So hopefully you guys can see that. We're going to drive that seal until it's just below the ridge for the spring. We're going to put the retaining spring in. There we go. You'll know you have it in because it'll snap in place. If it doesn't snap, you need to drive your seal a little further. Okay. Next, we're going to take our cap. We're going to pull the old O-ring off. Slide a new O-ring on. Again, the kit comes with everything you need. Now we're going to drop our spring in. And I'm going to measure out 10 ounces of, of fluid. Now, at this time, I just realized I had not put the dust cover on. So we're going to slide that dust cover on real quick. And we're just going to use that seal driver. Make sure you're not cross-threading the cap. And then take my socket, put that on the rest of the way. And once I get it back on the bike, I'll make sure it's tight. I'm just going to lightly tighten these so they'll stay in place and then I can adjust my height on them.
So for your height, you want to be between 0.45 and half an inch. So I'm just using a digital caliper for that measurement. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to torque the pinch bolts to 35 foot-pounds. And now that everything's on here, we're just going to make sure that that fork cap is tight. Feels tight to me. And that's going to be that for the forks. Now you just got to put your front end back together. And I'm going to go ahead and do those riser bushings. Now I just got to get my fairing back on and put the front end back together. But I am going to do that off of camera. Because uh, I'm still working on getting this headlight situated. So it's more forward and I may have to cut the fairing a little. Um, but other than that, man, like bike is squared away it sucks winter's kind of moving in quick on us here in st louis it's been cold and rainy last sunday we had some tornadoes move through the area it's pretty violent tornadoes and since then it's just been cold every single day so hopefully we snap out of this soon nice thing about here in st louis is middle of the winter you get random you know 80 degree days so the riding season is by no means done just the last week week and a half has kind of been a bummer so i leave Next Friday for uh, vacation, me and the family, we're going to go to Branson, do the whole touristy thing, no motorcycles, but I may bring a camera, we'll see. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, comment below. Uh, if not, whatever, I may record it, I may not, who knows. But I guess we're going to wrap this up. Thanks all of you for watching. I love each and every one of you. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I am out of here.